Hello there and welcome back to Game Dev Academy. I'm Shane, thanks for joining me again. And in this video, what we're going to cover is GPU rendering in Blender, which can make your rendering go like so many times faster. So if we just head straight over to my PC, I will show you how to do that, what we've got going on. So as you can see, we've got the um, BMW render file that you can get from the Blender website, which is a really good like benchmark for how long renders take. And what we'll do first of all is just render on the CPU so you can see here um, so you might be on one of these kind of um, tabs if you're in your own project if you go click on this little digital camera looking thing here this is for rendering and we've got cycles is the render engine we're using and we're currently set to CPU which is very default so what I'm gonna do is just set this rendering so we can see how long this scene takes on the CPU and then we will switch to the GPU so let's go render and render image. Oh, and we're done, are we? It looks like we're done. So I've got my cup of tea. Oh, oh that is a nice cup of tea as well. Okay, so we can see that um, this scene has taken me three minutes and 23 seconds to render. Who has that kind of time to spare? I could have died in that time. We need to go much faster. So let's get GPU rendering on the case and we'll go much, much quicker. So we'll close that for a minute. Right, over here then. So if I now try to change the device in the render settings from CPU to GPU compute, it's actually grayed out, which means it's not gonna work. So even though it's telling me GPU, now if I start rendering, it's just not gonna work. So here's what we need to do. I'll put it back to CPU for a sec. We're going to go to Edit and Preferences. Make sure you're on the System tab here. And then we need to go to CUDA. And we're going to enable the GPU. So in my case, that is the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2070 Super. It's the best I could afford at the time I built my PC. OK, and we just need to make sure that it's also turned on for optics, because why not? If you choose to, and if it makes sense, you can also tick your CPU, and you can render on both. But in a lot of cases, if you're rendering on your GPU, I would recommend leaving your CPU free. So I'm just going to turn that off. Okay, so that's all we need to do here. We can close that. And now when we switch this from CPU to GPU, it's not grayed out. Yes. There is one more thing we need to change though. So just scroll down here to performance and just make sure that you expand that section. We are going to leave threads to auto detect, but tiling. GPU is just like bigger tiles, so we're going to change that from 64 to 256, like so. Now we have enabled GPU rendering, so shall we render again and see how much faster it goes? Yes, we shall. So render and render image. Oh, let's try again. And what I'm not going to do is make a cup of tea because I won't have time because it's going to go so much faster. And we're just finishing up. So you can see that that one took 20 seconds. That is a heck of a lot faster than we had previously. So there are some other settings and tweaks you can do if you want to get your rendering faster overall. But this is how to enable and make use of hardware rendering in the form of GPU. So that brings us to the end of another video. Thanks so much for watching. If you want more videos like this, then let me know in the comments what would you like to see me create next. You could also support me and the channel over on Patreon in the same way that the wonderful people whose names will be on screen have done. And um, I think that's it. I think I can end the video here. So uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.